Welcome to another episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. My name is Aaron Cow, and today we're going to learn how to create and share a Polymy template. So last year we released our first set of architectural templates, uh, which are configurable Polymy projects designed to make it easy to bootstrap new stacks for common cloud architectures like static websites, containers, virtual machines, and Kubernetes. Uh, these templates are a great way to get a new project up and running quickly. And they've actually grown quite popular with a lot of our users. So in this video, we're going to show you how to create your own template. In the last two episodes, we deployed a data warehouse on Amazon Redshift. So let's turn that into a template. So let's first create a new project and then copy in the code uh, from last episode and proceed from there. So let's do Python, so create a new Python project. Okay, our project is now set up. The, the goal of templates is twofold. Um, one, make it easy for other users to create deployable projects that address the infrastructure need and to make it easy to customize and extend those projects after they've been created. Let's um, open up main.py here. We're gonna replace this code with code from the last episode. So. Here we go. So if you remember, um, you know, configuration settings, S3 bucket, VPC, private subnet, Redshift uh, subnet group, the IAM role, uh, the VPC endpoint, and then finally the single node Redshift cluster, and the VPC then exporting out the data bucket uh, where you can put in um, things that you want imported into Redshift. Okay, so let's save that. At this point, you can run Polymy up if you want to deploy it to make sure it works, but I'm going to skip that step. So, so I'm going to open up polymy.yaml because this is where we create our template. Um, so I'm just going to copy in some code that turns this section into a template. So here we go. Um, there's a description. Uh, we're going to specify our, there's a name, a description, then we're going to special specify the runtime as Python. And then here in this section called template is where um, all the magic happens uh, for Polymy templates. Uh, so there's a quick description on what this template is about. And then inside config um, is where we uh, throw in all the configurations that need to be set um, by the template. Uh, so um, you'll remember that we last episode we set it on the command line a bunch of different configurations using Polymy config. So um, here we have uh, the region. Um, so so each configuration value there'll be a description, um, which when the user gets will get prompted, it will describe uh, what that configuration value is, and then there's a default that the user could accept. Uh, so there is uh, a cluster identifier, the no type, the DB name, DB username, and then a database password. And um, at the when you hit Polymy new and you're using this template, you, this is what will be presented to you, and then your program here um, will import all those configuration settings. So 
we're going to hit save here. So that's all there is to it. Uh, we now have a template that's complete and ready to be published. Uh, but first, we're going to test it out locally. So we are going to just create a new directory, uh, call it K. And then we'll just do a pulling me new on uh, that. Actually, there's one other thing we need to do. Uh, we need to remove uh, this folder um, because we don't need that for um, the template. Okay. Okay, back here. So we're gonna do a plenty new and then we're gonna point it at the directory that we had our template and we're gonna hit play me new. Okay, so project name, that's good. So it's a Python program to deploy Redshift data warehouse on AWS. Great, we're gonna use dev. Uh, we'll do it to US West 2, uh, name of database in Redshift cluster dev and password. So. Okay, password, we'll take admin and let's call this let's call that uh, take that as the node type. Okay, that's done. Let's do a quick pull me up to see if it works. Okay, that is now done. So let's actually uh, flip over to the Redshift console and take a look if it worked. I think it was this one that we just provisioned. And yep, that is correct. So now that it works, let's just uh, uh, remove this stack. Okay, it's deleted now. We tested this template by pointing uh, Polymy to the template's path on our local file system. But in order to share the template with others, we'll have to publish it to a file path or uh, get URL that's accessible by the Polymy CLI. So let's publish it in a GitHub repository. Uh, let's navigate back to our template here. Okay. And all right, so let's just let's do a few. Let's get repo. Okay, we have a Git repository with our template. So let's go back out. Let's create a new directory. Repo. 
and see if that works. All right, great. And the template deployed. So there you have it, um, creating and sharing a Pulumi template. Uh, it's pretty simple, so try it out. Uh, thanks again for joining uh, another episode of Modern Infrastructure Wednesday. My name's Aaron Cow. Thanks. <laughs>